The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. This is All Things Considered. From NPR News, I'm Melissa Block. And I'm Robert Siegel. Our next story takes us to South Louisiana and the site of a giant sinkhole. It appeared last year when a salt mine collapsed, creating a series of problems that regulators say they have never seen before. Tremors, oil and gas leaks. Residents were evacuated more than seven months ago, and as NPR's Debbie Elliott reports, they are losing patience. Strange things have been happening at Ernie Boudreaux's place on Jambalaya Street at Bayou Corn. My trail at night, it cracks. You can hear it. The doors pop open by itself. The front porch is separating from the trailer, and sometimes he smells oil. All problems that started after the sinkhole opened less than a half mile from his house. Come on, boy. His neighborhood is under a mandatory evacuation, but Boudreaux comes back a few days a week to care for his dog. Diesel. <laughs> Big puppy. Wouldn't hurt nobody. It's not a good place to be at all, really. But like a lot of us, I mean, you just can't jump up and run. I mean, I can go here and there, but I got that dog. I mean, I raised that dog from a puppy. Houston-based Texas Brine has been mining salt near the Bayou Corn community for more than 40 years. The company is now paying evacuated residents $875 a week to cover temporary housing costs. But Boudreau, a welder, says he can't find a rental that takes pets the size of diesel, so he stays with his sister some and then comes home. After seven months, he wants a more permanent solution. At $875 a week is hush-hush money. Keep everybody quiet and just let it settle down. I said, I'm not letting this settle down. I see you're talking about land, home, that we can't come back to, and if you do, it ain't worth nothing. From Boudreaux's backyard, you can see the entrance to Texas Brine. The firm operates several salt wells here in Assumption Parish, injecting water into an underground salt dome to leach out brine. The sodium chloride is used by nearby petrochemical industries that line the Mississippi River between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. This, this is the sinkhole. Texas Brine spokesman Sonny Cranch looks out over what appears to be a lake surrounded by swampland and a fresh earthen levee. It was all swamp before August 3rd. The morning workers discovered the sinkhole. The trees were down because they had fallen into the uh, into the. Um, so they yes. came, one day they were at work and, and there were trees and this was and just swamp, swamp and then they came out here and there's nothing and except debris all just floating vegetative matter and uh, as it turned out there was some uh, uh, liquid hydrocarbon that had risen to the surface crude oil and natural gas bubbling up from below ground it was a mystery at first but now authorities say an abandoned salt cavern collapsed shifting the rock and salt formations deep below, causing the sinkhole above and unleashing hydrocarbons into the groundwater aquifer up to two miles from the site. From time to time, there'll be these little events, little burps, they call them, and, and you'll get some more material that comes to the surface. Sometimes there's some hydrocarbon involved. Other times it's just vegetative matter. You go through it, the sinkhole has expanded to nine acres and is still growing. Monitoring reveals continuing shifting underground and a possible problem at a second cavern. Workers are fusing a pipe to vent off natural gas near the sinkhole. The state has ordered Texas Brine to drill 30 of these natural gas wells around Bayou Corn. Patrick Kouraj with the Louisiana Department of Natural Resources says the escaping methane poses a danger. We want to get that out so that we don't, you don't have the risk of uh, homes with enclosed spaces having a concentration of gas buildup that could be uh, flammable or explosive. Kouraj says Texas Brine had plugged and abandoned this salt mine in 2010 after integrity problems. And state rules at the time did not require any continued monitoring. Now, scientists have discovered the sidewall of the salt cavern collapsed, causing tremors, the sinkhole, and oil and gas leaks. 
Courage says they've yet to find a roadmap for dealing with this unique set of problems. When we started looking around, okay, who else has this happened to? The answer came, and we're still looking, is nobody. That makes it hard to predict what will happen next. I mean, it's just like an experiment. Wilma Subra is a technical advisor to the Louisiana Environmental Action Network. The issue is it's continuing to degrade. So as long as it's degrading, you can't say, well, we've reached the end of degradation. Now we can figure out how to remedy. Bayou Corn resident Nick Romera is losing his patience. I didn't do anything. I didn't cause this. And you can see, you see the bubbles coming up right there? That's gas. That's gas coming up right there. It's just sleeping up slow. We're standing in Romero's front yard on the edge of a cypress-studded swamp where he spends his mornings watching the wood ducks. And I'm being, I'm being driven from the thing that I love the most. He's a retired postal worker, and his wife Brenda is a nature artist. They've been here more than 20 years. The damage is done. Our properties were zero, and we can't go buy another house. I mean, we don't, we don't have that kind of room in our budget. You know, until we get bought out, we can't. We're in limbo. Nick Romero says after seven months, nothing is getting better. He wants Texas Brine to ante up. So man has played around, stuck his hands where he shouldn't have, and, and Mother Nature says, you know, it's time for y'all to leave. You know, and, and they're responsible for causing it, and so it's time for them to pay up. Texas Brine spokesman Sonny Cranch says the company will work with individual families to reach a fair settlement. You know, we, we want resolution of this, and we we really, truly appreciate the, the emotional stress this has caused for so many of these people in the Bayou Corn area. Some residents have sued Texas Brine, and Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal is demanding damages for all of the 350 residents near the sinkhole. He also says the company owes the state more than $8 million for its response to the crisis. They're the ones of the responsible party. They've caused this damage and certainly uh, will be aggressive in making sure that they pay their bills, whether it's to the state or whether it's to the folks, local government, or whether it's the folks they buy out. Back on Jambalaya Street, Ernie Boudreaux wants the buyout, but isn't sure where he'll go from Bayou Corn. We born and raised here. It ain't like I'm going to say, well, I'm moving to Baton Rouge because I'm not a city person. You know, I'm born in the swamp. That's why in the bayous, they ain't got a buy. I'm out of place. <laughs> you know, I can't go to the city. But where you going to go? That's the thing. Debbie Elliott, NPR News.